Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a card game. Hey, all this week we are looking at card games. And I know you're thinking, David, you usually do magic reviews and you usually do playing card reviews. Why are you doing card games? Well, I do normally do playing card reviews, right? And playing cards implies that you play with cards. And so as a playing cards collector, I also enjoy playing cards. And so that means I also get card games. And I like really cool card games and I wanna make you aware of some really cool card games this week. Today we are looking at Flux 5.0. Flux 5.0 is a small, nicely compacted, easy to carry with you, cool game. And there's uh, lots of different versions of this. And uh, we'll get to that at the bottom of this. Um, this is made by Looney Labs. It costs around 11 bucks, depending on where you get it. But I think the base, the core game, the core game costs about 11 bucks. Uh, it's for ages eight and up. And uh, there is some strategy to it. There is a high amount of reading. Uh, and as I'm thinking ahead, so you'll just have to determine uh, what's age appropriate. You can play this with two to five players and this game can last anywhere from five minutes to 30 minutes. Uh, what's in the box? You're gonna get a hundred cards and all the instructions and let's get into how you play. All right, basically at its core, the game starts with one card. One card that says you draw one and play one. That's the rule, that's the only rule. But as each new card is drawn, more rules are added to the game. So you decide the cards in your hand, what cards you're gonna play, what cards you're gonna keep, if you're gonna make a new rule to the game or if you're gonna eliminate a rule from the game. The cards uh, change the way you play. So there's a couple of different types of cards. There's keeper cards and then there's goal cards. The keeper cards are cards that you just lay down on the table and say, these are the cards I'm keeping and then the goal the current goal that you're working towards uh, both of you are working towards finishing that goal and whoever reaches that goal first wins of course if you play a new goal then the entire goal changes so keepers are the cards you collect for victory and the goals are what keeps you on your toes in addition to that there are also new rules cards that constantly change the rules and so if you like things that keep you on your toes if you like things that you know constantly change it's a strategy game where you're trying to constantly stay ahead i played this uh, the, for the very first time uh, with my wife and she just kept a goal card in her hand until she was ready to play it and as soon as she played it she won immediately because the cards she had on the table were you know exactly what she needed to win so it was it was a lot of fun and it you know caught me off guard but I was like oh yep that's the game like that's the game like it constantly changes and so it's always in flux expansion packs all right so what other games are out there that are similar to this or that carry the flux name so you can actually get other games i don't think they're really expansion packs they're they're full-on games that have a whole nother theme to it so you can get this same style game in uh, a duck with dice uh, you can get this one with pirate uh, or holiday or zombie or chemistry there's a money python version out there there's a nature version there's math there's batman there's adventure time and a whole bunch of others like i said it's two to five players anywhere from five to thirty minutes Minutes. it's a whole lot of fun it's nice and small we usually stick this in our luggage and take it with us when we go on vacation the cards are nice and small you can play the game like at a table at a fast food restaurant like it really doesn't take up a lot of space tons of fun all right so that's pretty much everything i can say about flux 5.0 if you are new to my channel normally i do review magic tricks and playing cards i am a playing card collector and if you'd like or if you like playing cards too you might want to hit subscribe because every single month i give away a deck of playing cards or two or three uh every single month and so if you like playing cards you want to collect those uh you want to learn more about maybe magic tricks and you like games please check out being a subscriber and i'll see you guys next time thanks bye